Hello, Marcus Lim here, and today I just like to give you a look into this uh, deluxe edition of Marvel Comics number no. one, eightieth anniversary edition. All right, as it says here, in eightieth anniversary edition. So it has been eighty years since uh, Marvel Comics number no. one uh, first kicked off Marvel Comics as we know it. All right, and uh, this is as you can see. In, uh, the Human Torch. So Human Torch was there from the very beginning, um, and so this is really like a homage uh, to the original cover back in October 1939, which you can see um, over here, right? So that's the original cover 80 years ago, Marvel Comics number one, the book that started it all. And so this uh, volume, it collects, uh, as it says here, the original uh, issue, comics number one, um, and also the 70th anniversary edition, like 10 years ago, which I guess is the kind of like the recolored version, I think, um, and also Saga of the Original Human Torch and Marvel's number zero, classic work by Kurt Busiek and Alex Ross, okay? Um, and so here it tells us a little bit about this. Um, yeah, so... Uh, so it collects both the original um, uh, issue as it was published and also the remastered one, alright? And also, um, you know, a lot of bonus stuff like uh, retrospective stories, bonus artwork, and essays and stuff. Alright, so let's have a look uh, at this, at this volume. And I have to say, right, this is one of, this is like considered to be a Golden Age era book, which I'm not very familiar with the Golden Age, but you know, this is really a landmark book, obviously, since it started uh, Marvel Comics, right? So, this decided to get this. Alright, so let me remove the jacket first. Let me get stuck. Alright, so let's rediscover the comic that laid the foundation for the House of Ideas. And here we've got the creators. Alright, so that's the jacket. And uh, Without the jacket, this is what it looks like. All right, same as the jacket, and but uh, at the back is different. So you've got Human Torch, the Angel, the Submariner, the Mask Raider, Jungle Terror, and Avengers of Kazar. All right, which I guess is all in the same issue. Um, all right, so Marvel Comics number one, table of contents. So that's the original Marvel Comics number one, and then we've got the Saga of the Human Torch, published in 1990, Marvels number zero, and this is the 70th anniversary edition, which I guess is uh, yeah October 2009. So this would be 10 years ago. Okay. Um, Right, and that's, I guess, more of a uh, summarized version of the contents. And then here's the original cover of the original number one, Marvel Comics number one, which I believe if you have a mint copy, you can fetch upwards of more than $200,000, I think, right? Um, yeah, so this is the original. You can see very old school, right? Okay, right. So that was the introduction to. Let me. Sorry, let me go back to this. Yeah, the Human Torch, right? So that's one story, and then there's all these other stories in the same issue. The Angel, the Submariner, is also in the same book. Right, so in the same issue, we've got Namor and a Human Torch. 
The Mask Raider. Okay. Jungle Terror. So those are so that's the first issue right there. And then we've got a short story, Rangers of Kazar. Um, all right, all right. So that's uh, that's the first issue, eighty years ago. This is the saga of the original Human Torch, nineteen ninety. Okay. You can see there's a lot of focus on the Human Torch just because Marvel Comics number one, right, introduced the world to the Human Torch. Here is Marvel's number zero, and again, it's all about the origin of the Human Torch. Um, and here's a uh, covers. Actually no, this is the 70th anniversary uh, edition of Marvel Comics number one. As you can see it's the same cover we have here. Okay. Varying cover. And this is like the reimagining or remastered edition of what you saw uh, in the original um, issue that I Flip through just then. You can see it's all like given kind of like a facelift in the 70th anniversary. Okay, Mask Raider, Jungle Terror, so exactly like what it was in the original but just remastered. Okay, Burning Rubber, short story, Ventures of Kazar. Reference scans of a printed copy of Marvel Comics number one. It says, okay, used during the restoration process for the remastering. So that's pretty cool. <clears throat> As I said, if you have a mint copy, which I'm not sure how many copies there are left in the world that's mint, 200,000 plus. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Bazaar and other stuff. These are all the bonuses. <coughs> Text pieces. Right. Um, yeah, this is by Roy Thomas and Les Daniels. This introduction to uh, introduction to what? The introduction to uh, oh, the 50th anniversary hardcover in 1990. Okay. And this is another uh, essay by Roy Thomas again. Another one by Roy Thomas, Reminiscence. Uh, Roy Thomas. Will Murray. Okay. So a lot of stuff here. Right. Given that this is such a historic book. Lots of essays and then now we've got bibliography. And that's the near the, the end now. More extra stuff. Extras, extras. All, all homages, right, to to the first issue cover. And that's it. So that is Marvel Comics number one. Uh, big celebration, 80th anniversary celebration of the book that started it all 80 years ago so thank you for watching this video and i will see you next time